So, what's your pitch? I'm thinking something smart and unique, you know, like uh, Teletubbies and Broken Glass, or like Barney during the meteor shower. Yeah, before we decide on that, what if we have a show where we have a live audience and people guess the prices of everyday grocery items? You mean like the price is right? No, that's, that's not like the price is right, that is the price is right. Kelsey, I was thinking that we could take it in a little bit of a different direction. I'm listening. Close your eyes and imagine 20 minutes of peanut butter. Nothing but peanut butter. Everything you can do with peanut butter. The possibilities are limitless. Not really. What about all the people who are allergic to peanut butter? They're not real people. All right, now hear me out for a second, guys. I know this sounds crazy, but what if we have a show and there's a dog and he's red and he's 50 feet tall and the best part, we get it voiced by Tyler Perry. One, that's Clifford. Two, Tyler Perry is not allowed back at WTOP. Speaking of big things, I got an idea for our first sketch that's gonna blow you away. I'm listening. We get a box of cereal, but we cross out the word cereal and replace it with the word Syria. Really? I like it. We're still talking about peanut butter, right? No, peanut butter is dead. Not that this is much of an improvement. All right, I have an idea, guys. I know this might sound crazy, but what if we have a show, a trivia show, but the answers are in the form of questions. We do need questions for society. Here's what I'm thinking for our next sketch. You get an elephant, right, pointing a gun at a baby. Because, you know, we're, we're Republicans. Okay, what if we combined all of these and made an edgy peanut butter themed train wreck? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds yeah, good. Yeah, that'll work. Wait, so we're not we're not doing Red Dog. And I'm Sarah Benson. Welcome to Weekend in Oz, and here's what's happening in your neck of the woods. Yesterday marked the first day of the historic government shutdown. Former Senator Ten Aiken was quoted as saying, if it's a legitimate Ob Obamacare bill, the House has ways to shut the whole thing down. One of the government agencies that's been forced to shut down is the Office of Government Ethics, which begs to ask the question, what do they do when they're open? When asked for his opinion on the shutdown, one Oswego student remarked, they got rid of novelty ice cream. Why would they do that? <laughs> Last month marked the 12th anniversary of the attacks on September 11th, or as teenagers call it, that day I get all the Facebook likes. As a token of friendship, the U.S. government gave back to Iran a 27,000-year-old silver chalice. Secretary, Secretary of State John Kerry was disappointed that they rejected his idea of an edible arrangement. A number of unusual glowing lights appeared in the sky near a smoking ship somewhere off the, the coast of California. Residents in the area speculate that it may have been a UFO. In related news, Mitt Romney says his biggest mistake of 2012 was that the Hispanics did not understand his plan for keeping the aliens out. <laughs> Prosecutors in New Delhi, India are pushing for the death penalty after four men gang raped a woman to death on a moving bus last year. The trial is a testament to the girl's beauty because had she been a cow, they'd already be dead. <laughs> a Florida man faces life in prison after tricking his pregnant girlfriend into taking an abortion pill. Thank God, now I don't have to grow up in Florida, said the fetus. <laughs> <laughs> 
Barack Obama says he hasn't smoked a cigarette in years because he's quote unquote afraid of his wife. Congratulations, Michelle. You're officially more frightening than lung cancer. <laughs> Arc Nova, the first world, the world's first inflatable concert hall, will tour parts of Japan devastated by the 2011 earthquake and tsunami. The Arc can house 27 or 700 audience members, or 600 people with Hello Kitty backpacks. The state of New Jersey suffered yet another setback in the rebuilding of their boardwalk last month in the form of a fire. As a result, Governor Christie has announced they'll be changing their slogan to stronger than the storm, but still not fireproof. <laughs> a Massachusetts man is facing 27 years in prison for kidnapping, raping, murdering, then eating multiple children. Authorities say the man will be charged with making the witch from Hansel and Gretel look like a total puss. <laughs> Fall is the time for warm apple cider, falling leaves, and dying trees. Speaking of dying on the inside, pledging. With the pledging process beginning all over campus, here today to give us a unique insight into the process is a pledge of the Delta Tau Delta fraternity. What's up guys? RJ, Sarah, thanks for having me. Hey, you, are you okay, man? Sorry, I thought you were gonna hit me or something. I once had a puppy like you. Really? Cute and obedient? Sure. So, you're pledging the Delta Tau Delta fraternity? Yeah, DTD. Oh, sorry, I didn't know. No, that's the acronym. You look so nice. Why are you so dressed up? Well, I have to wear this 24 7 and carry this around. So what made, motivated you to join an organization where the people you're paying to be friends with will physically and emotionally abuse you until they deem you ready to do it to others? Well, my father was in this fraternity and using the connections he gained, he got a job with waste management right out of school. Ah, oh, cool. Front office? No, back of the truck. <laughs> so, uh, what do you say to those who think Greek life is just paying for friends? All right, well, first off, politicians do it all the time, but they couldn't be more wrong. You also pay for mandatory weekly meetings where you deal with drama that doesn't affect you in the slightest. You're assigned mandatory community service and, oh yeah, you get to work shifts at all the parties instead of enjoying them. <laughs> mandatory community service? Like in prison? Yeah, except for the big house has way more rape. So how does Greek life actually connect to the Greeks? Well, uh, we have a bunch of loud, hairy, cigarette-smoking dudes, so I, I guess you know it's Greek. <laughs> What about, uh, what about schoolwork? Do you have time for that? School isn't important when you're in a frat. Neither is hygiene or women's rights. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your major? Well, I'm in between at the moment. I want to learn something that will give me experience for the real world. Oh, being in a frat will definitely help with that. <laughs> so what's the interaction like between fraternities and sororities? Well, once the bitches see me with letters on my tank top, the panties will be flying right off. So you're in a relationship then? Hell no. I don't want to be tied down. So what's the hardest thing you've had to do so far? Well, I had to run around campus all day with a brick while wearing a chastity belt and headphones glued to my ears playing nonstop Tom Jones. That sounds pretty unusual. <laughs> it's not unusual. It's not unusual to be loved by any Oh, damn it, it's stuck in my head. The pledge from Delta Tau Delta, everybody. We will be right Woo! back. Forest is precious. One careless act caused by people and its beauty could be gone for a lifetime. Protect our friends in the forest. Only you can prevent wildfires. Attention students and faculty. Avery Rental Properties is now renting for the next school year. Avery accommodates all group sizes, small or large. Avery Rental Properties. Make our house your home. 24-hour maintenance, garbage removal, snow removal, and off-street parking. Avery Rental Properties. 315-343-5005. Hi, we're Real Big Fish. And you're watching WTOP10. Like the number. So you can't save money? Let's easy as pie. Brown bag and lunch instead of going out. $6 save times five days a week times 10 years is 21,000 bucks. That's a lot of lettuce. Small changes today, big bucks tomorrow. Feedthepig.org. 
Company Oswego MBA program, helping you achieve your goals with a customized curriculum developed with flexibility in mind. Take classes year-round, full or part-time in Oswego online or at the Metro Center in downtown Syracuse. More information is available online or by calling 315-312-2911. Welcome to the fourth season of Oswego Sports Update. I'm Blaze Hill. I'm Joe Manganiello. And I'm Adam Rupsick. Join us every Monday night at 11 for live sports action right here on WTOP 10. <laughs> What up, dude? What up, dude, cuz? Not much. I'm Dan Miller from WNYO. I heard you guys want your own radio show? That's right. Affirmative. Alrighty. What are your names? Well, I'm D Infinity, D Infinity, aka Doo Doo, and this is my associate, Feces the Moment. Uh, Feces? The Moment. Okay, so, uh, Doo Doo and Feces, um,. Do you guys have any past experience? Have you ever done radio before? Nah, but I listened to the radio before, you know, and I like what I heard, you feel me? Okay, uh, what about you, Dudu? I seen the movie Radio with Cuba Lovin' Jr., and I love that. It inspired me, but no, I have never listened to radio. All right, well, that's fine, guys, because at WNYO, you don't need any prior experience to have your own show. What type of show did you guys want? Like, a rap show? Rap all the way, ho. And we need some of that trap stuff, like, whoo, whoo, whoo. And country, too. And country. You guys want to do both country and rap at the same time? We need, like, it's going to kind of be like, I got the just to be, but please believe it. And some Keith Urban, like some of that days go by. Just right after each other. Immediate. Actually, like, while the song is going, confuse the hell out of people. I don't really think that would work, guys. All right, listen up, listen up, listen up. In the type of world we live in today, with computer-mediated communication taking over natural human contact, a slight shift in the system would completely change the interface of the type of radio played at such an inconsistent level. It's all about the people. With people on the mind, this innovative idea would jumpstart a movement in innovation. I guess I never really thought about it like that. That's a really solid idea. Do you guys, uh, you guys think you could use some extra help? Yeah, we down. I dig it. Awesome. Welcome back to Weekend in Oz. Hope you don't have to pee anymore. Former gym teacher Eric Schock is trying to sue the Washington school where he used to teach before getting fired for getting drunk during school hours. Police report that the school's administration is already taking steps to the right, in the right direction by removing beer pong from the curriculum. A couple in Florida has begun preparing for a dolphin-assisted birth. To prepare for the event, parents spend time in the water in hopes of forming a connection with the dolphin pod. In related news, dolphin suicide rates are up 200%. <laughs> A uh, court ruling in Sweden last week has made it legal for citizens to openly masturbate on the beach. And I'm sorry, Sarah, but I was too busy booking my trip to Sweden to write the punchline for this. <laughs> a couple in Northern California took more than five hours to report that their 10-year-old daughter had been shot in the butt because they mistook the bleeding for a period. In their defense, <laughs> the daughter was acting extra bitchy that week. <laughs> A brewery in Milton, Delaware is making history by creating the first beer made from meteoroid particles. The brew has gotten an overwhelming response from beer drinkers everywhere. Even the Obama administration said in a statement, finally, a profitable use for NASA. <laughs> a couple's wedding was delayed after a man allegedly cut off his testicles inside the church just an hour before the ceremony was supposed to take place. No religious officials have commented on the news, but scholars speculate it was an attempt to advertise the church's newest and most effective form of contraception. <laughs> Perpetual Nielsen losers NBC brought Marty McFly back to television last week with the premiere of the Michael J. Fox show and what can only be described as an attempt to shake up the ratings. <laughs> China has lifted its ban on Facebook within a 17 square mile area, but if there's one thing I know about the Chinese, they can probably hack onto Facebook wherever they want. 
<laughs> a resident in Brighton, England recently reported that a wormhole or vortex has opened up on a street where construction was being done. The construction company argues that it was probably just a Dodger Who themed Halloween decoration. <laughs> Bill Gates has been quoted saying that the control alt delete function was an inconvenient mistake. Gates went on to say it was the second most inconvenient mistake after Steve Jobs. <laughs> Detroit Lions wide receiver Nate Burleson broke his arm in two places last week during a car accident, which was caused when a piece of pizza started to fall off of the front seat. The injury isn't expected to be a big loss because if you can't catch a piece of pizza between your own legs, you probably can't catch a football. <laughs> Rihanna made news last week after tweeting a picture of herself from Thailand with a primate known as the Slow Loris. The photo helped lead to the arrest of two men who were selling protected animals in Taiwan. So tune into Fox this fall for the new series, Rihanna Kenny, Pet Detective. <laughs> at midnight on Tuesday, the U.S. government shut down after Democrats and Republicans couldn't agree on a spending tactic for Obamacare. Here with his reaction is Skinny Steve. So there are quotes around your name. What's the deal with that? Do you just not want people to know your real name? Yeah, just trying to keep my name out the popo's mouth. Well, you're on TV, so you're not exactly keeping a low profile. So, Skinny Steve, what's your take on the current state of the government? Uh, I'm pro-Obama. Oh, so you're for Obamacare? I just like free crap. You seem pretty antsy, Skinny Steve. Uh, I've been going through some withdrawals. Oh, yeah? From what? White Lightning? Blue Heaven? Poppers? Snappers? Ice? Crank? Smack? Shards? Glass? Jib? No. What about Tweak, Riz, Rock, Tina, Cold, Snow, Flake, Black Beauties, Footballs, Love Boats? No, I, I still have all those. I've, I've just been cl clinically diagnosed with a condition known as Breaking Sad. And what's that? It's post-traumatic stress disorder, only for the television series Breaking Bad. <laughs> ah. So uh, what are the symptoms of Breaking Sad? Uh, general hunger for breakfast foods, a desire to own a Winnebago, and <laughs> talking to an imaginary Frankie Muniz. <laughs> so how does one get treated for, for Breaking Sad? Well, Obamacare was going to be paying for my Netflix account, but since there's no more government, I'm moving into stage two of the condition. Oh, and what's that? Breaking Mad! Skinny Steve, everyone. We'll be right back. Attention students and faculty, Avery Rental Properties is now renting for the next school year. Avery accommodates all group sizes, small or large. Avery Rental Properties, make our house your home. 24-hour maintenance, garbage removal, snow removal, and off-street parking. Avery Rental Properties, 315-343-5005. Hi, I'm Al Roker, class of 76, Oswego State University. You're watching WTOP Channel 10. We didn't have this when I was in school. We just had radio and smoke signals. It's Saturday night. You just went out to a party with the girls. The guy in the stunner shades caught your eye. Your roommate's not there, so you bring him back to your room. It never occurred to you that you two might not be alone. Herpes, chlamydia, syphilis, gonorrhea, genital warts, and hepatitis could also be present. Oh, what? <laughs> oh! Who's that? I'm syphilis. Can't you tell? This guy's been around. Safe sex is the best sex, so please use a condom every time. Welcome back to Weekend in Oz. Here's some more news and stuff. Stan 
San Diego man Dan Desbrow and his wife and his fiance Destiny were married minutes after Dan was sentenced to 53 years to life in prison on first degree murder charges. The couple reports that they plan on honeymooning in Florida because it's known as being the most welcoming state for manslaughter. <laughs> a young Ukrainian couple was hit by a train while having sex on railroad tracks on Monday. John Lennon once said, all you need is love. Clearly, he never tried having sexual relations on train tracks. <laughs> Man in Hamilton, Ohio pled guilty to public indecency after having sex with an inflatable pool float in front of neighborhood children. On the bright side, at least this numbs them for mommy's special time with the pool boy. <laughs> a woman in Kentucky who had been convicted of 11 counts of animal abuse against her hybrid wolf dogs was found eaten to death last week in a rocking chair. The dog whisperer on the scene said the woman tasted like irony with a hint of justice. <laughs> Iowa started granting gun permits to people who are legally blind because some argue that preventing the visually impaired from getting weapons permits would violate the Americans with Disabilities Act. For many politicians, however, the key issue is safety, which is why all visually impaired gun owners must attend a mandatory court course at the Dick Cheney Hunting Academy. <laughs> a bondage class disguised as relationship support was banned from a community center, center in England. The 108-year-old venue on the outskirts of Cambridge also usually hosts Brownie Scout meetings which is good news for anyone still interested in learning how to tie different kinds of knots. <laughs> <laughs> a thrift store in Brooklyn has started offering classes teaching toddlers how to become a DJ because it's never too early to start doing ecstasy. <laughs> <laughs> Former boxer was arrested this past weekend for a murder he committed in 1987. The cold case was solved using DNA evidence that wasn't available at the time and this just in, Mike Tyson has fled the country. <laughs> A large group of jellyfish caused operations to manually shut down production at a major Swedish nuclear plant. Experts still do not know the exact cause of the shutdown, but some zoologists speculate that the jellyfish could not come to a consensus on the Affordable Health Care Act. <laughs> Dinosaur porn is the newest genre to hit the Kindle marketplace. Authors Christy Sims and Alana Braden recently published five short, steamy stories with titles such as Taken by the T-Rex and Taken at Dinosaur Museum. Speaking of sexual things that are old and sexual, Ron Jeremy was here tonight. <laughs> Woo! A man, a man was arrested in Texas last week after attempting to open fire on patrons in a Fort Worth McDonald's but failed when the gun wouldn't fire. Sources who spoke with his ex-girlfriend say that this was not the first time his gun malfunctioned. <laughs> a man in Manchester, England, who was laid off last week, found a new job as a superhero named Captain Manchester. The first battle with his arch enemy, known only as the dentist, is scheduled for next Tuesday at 10 a.m. Andre Santiago, Radio Shack employee, allegedly pumped, punched a customer in the face for sarcasm. In Santiago's defense, it must be hard to work at a place named after a dying industry. <laughs> a Florida fisherman caught a 300-pound bull shark earlier this week. After releasing it, the man jumped overboard and wrapped his arms around the shark to help it regain some of its energy. Looking for a safe way to wrap your arms around something that weighs 300 pounds? Go to Houston. According to a recent study by the, C the CDC, Houston is the fattest city in America. Experts say that if obesity rates continue to climb, Texas will go from being the Lone Star State to the Lone Foot State. <laughs> a man in Louisiana is being held on $1 million bond after shooting a pastor mid-preach on Friday night. When questioned for a motive, the man said he just really hates liars. A third Florida man in the last three months has been accused of leaving his child in the car while going into a strip club for a drink. Though I think it's sweet that they're keeping in touch with the mothers. A recent poll shows that Congress's <laughs> approval rates are at 10 percent. Uh, are at 10 percent. I'm an optimist, so I like to think of the glasses that the glass is half full of a liquid that I don't like. But at least it's half full. Or it, I messed that up. Good. Okay. Anyways, let's see here. Um, yeah. Continue. And now to me. A fencing coach in Nashville foiled a robbery attempt last weekend by stabbing the robber in the butt with his almost sword. Police arrived on the scene and were not at all surprised that a fencer knew how to put something in a man's butt. <laughs> last week, Fox unveiled its new reality series, Master Chef Junior. Finally, a show that combines America's love of Gordon Ramsay with my love of watching small children cry. <laughs> Grand
Grand Valley State University has decided to remove the school's landmark pendulum after students began imitating the Miley Cyrus video, Wrecking Ball. A college whose landmark combines education and sex appeal, mix it all together and you know you've got the best of both worlds. <laughs> Earlier today, Mia Farrow admitted to the public that her son, Ronan, may not actually be Woody Allen's son. Farrow is an activist for UNICEF, but considering the fact that her that she's having some baby daddy issues and the fact that she currently has 14 biological and adopted children, some speculate that she actually is UNICEF. <laughs> Former Sweet Life of Zack and Cody star Dylan Sprouse took to Tumblr last week to defend himself after fans on Twitter made fun of him for working as a waiter in a restaurant. The post one line read, hey, at least I'm not Zac Efron. <laughs> oh. Hi <laughs> High School Musical star Zac Efron admitted to being in rehab earlier this year for a cocaine addiction. The heartwarming story proves that at least some members of the Glee Club know when to quit. <laughs> we'll be right back. So, uh, Malcolm, you do know that energy savers last six times longer than ordinary light bulbs. Well, this isn't my room. It's, it's Baron Davis's. Baron Davis, the basketball player? This is his room? Yep. Interesting, because we have Baron Davis right here. Baron, do you live here? No. I don't mean that, Baron Davis. Millions of kids are using their energy wisely. What's your excuse? In the Oswego MBA program, helping you achieve your goals with a customized curriculum developed with flexibility in mind. Take classes year-round, full or part-time in Oswego online or at the Metro Center in downtown Syracuse. More information is available online or by calling 315-312-2911. Rob, what's up? <laughs> How's it How's going? going? Guys, this is my cousin Rob from Michigan. What's up? He's a teenager. <laughs> hey, what's totally. up? Totally. <laughs> All right. Oh, hey, you want to slow down? No. Really? Huh. Hey, you know what a beautiful animal is? A horse. A horse. Yeah. Beautiful mane. Unbelievable muscle tone. When it runs, it looks like poetry in motion. It's the most beautiful thing on earth. And sometimes when you feed a horse, its lips will tickle your hand. Just, just tickle it just a little bit. It makes me giggle sometimes. I don't know. I guess what I'm trying to say is, if you don't slow down, I'm gonna bite into your head like an apple. And thanks guys for listening to my horse stories. I could talk about ponies all day long. Welcome back to Weekend in Oz. Welcome back. So RJ, the other day I had a really, really strange experience. Do you well, wanna hear about it? I do. Okay, I was in a public bathroom stall and this girl looked in the stall in between the, the door, like the crack in the door and the stall itself, and we made really, really intense eye contact for about a minute. And all I could think was, oh my God, this must be how Kennedy felt during the Cuban Missile Crisis. Oh my God, that's, that's the first thing that will come to my mind. So I looked at her and I said that, and then I stayed in that stall for 13 days. <laughs> how did you eat? I mean, you could obviously poop, but how did you eat and drink things? It doesn't matter. <laughs> I think it does. Does it? I mean, considering like health and you need nutrients, yeah, I think it does. You know what matters, RJ? What matters, Sarah? I don't know. I thought you were going to fill that in. Oh, okay. I'm <laughs> no. sorry. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah. I think you're feeling good? I'm feeling great. It's, it's been a great day. It has it's been a great day. It's been a day. great day. It's it's, you know, Wednesday. It is. It's hump day. Hump day. You getting oh. in in, RJ? I am not. No. <laughs> That's cool. I like your honesty. Yep. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Honesty is the best policy. I agree. My 100%. mom tells me that. She also tells me I'm cool. Your mom sounds like a great woman. She is. Wow. Yeah. Okay, well, that's cool, RJ. I think it I've is. I've had a really good time tonight. I really have, too. I really like this desk. I really like this chair. I like everything. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, for Sarah Benson, I am RJ Papura. Good night. And I'm Sarah Benson. Yeah, that's her.
said I love you, Mom.